Hey everybody, um, I'm doing this early today because I literally just got home from work and changed out of my work clothes. So I figured I'd just come on early because I'm going to cook supper early today and then I can just reheat it afterwards while I'm in the mood to cook it. So tonight I'm trying a new recipe again. I do that a lot. I'm making ocean perch vegetable bake and I know I can't say vegetable so we'll go with veggie <laughs> um so start off and show you step by step you turn your oven on if you have one like mine and preheat it to 400 sorry kind of hard to see what I meant and hold the phone so preheat your oven to 400 first of all and then get dish. Again, I'm not using anything fancy. This thing is ancient and well used and loved. So just get a dish and then take mixed veggies. I'm just using this bag that was open and we didn't use it all. It was in the freezer. So take your mixed veggies, frozen like they are. You don't have to thaw them or nothing. And hang on. I'm going to flip this just so I can do this with two hands and I'll show you again. But I need a bigger hole cut in this bag, I think, because this is not working in my favor. Hang on. Scissors. I have eight. So you take the full bag of frozen veggies and just dump them out in this pan, the heck you want to call it, cold, 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 okay, one second, <laughs> so, ta-da, frozen veggies in the pan, after you get that done, take your fish, just a second now, I'm trying to go step by step, with one hand, it's not working. Hang on. I'll try to bring stuff up in front of the camera and then I'll show you after I do it too. So, I got perch like the recipe said, but I had a real hard time to find it. I had to go to three stores before I finally found perch. This is what it looks like. It's roughly $4 a pack. And I got two packs because I'm being depending on how big your family you can judge. So I'm just taking the fillets out of the pack and laying them on top of the frozen veggies. So I'll show you now a second when I get it done. So. Flip this again. No, that didn't flip. There we go. So now my fish fillets, the perch fillets that were in the packages, are just laid right on top of the frozen veggies like that. Okay? So that's that step. And then after you do that, sprinkle it with almonds. Of course you want me sprinkled with the almonds. Okay, the almonds are in the cupboard. One minute. <laughs> okay, sprinkle with almonds. How much almonds? Almonds are optional too, so if you have like another diamond effect if you don't use them. So a quarter cup of just plain old sliced almonds, that's all I'm using. So, I'm measuring this out. And just sprinkle these on top of the fish and mixed veggies. So, ta-da! 
almonds on top of the fish and veggies. And next, I'm going to take a bowl, just regular old like cereal size bowl. I'm going to put in a can of cream of mushroom soup. So a whole can of cream of mushroom soup goes into the bowl. soup and then a quarter cup of milk I'm in Ontario so our milk comes in a bag but if you're back home on the East Coast or anywhere else you can an actual carton but it's all the same milk is milk so quarter cup of milk measured out hi Paula so put milk and I need a tablespoon of I will repeat this once I get it all done. I'm just trying new recipes so I sound like a full repeat and everything myself a hundred times here, but what way have I got this? I can't get into the bottle. <laughs> Oh, don't I look like a moron? I'm sure I'm doing something so silly and simple wrong. I honestly can't get into it. Hang on, guys. <laughs> there we go. God, that shouldn't have been that hard to get into. <laughs> Sorry guys, I should have been more prepared with that. So, measuring out a tablespoon of the lemon juice. Okay, so I'll flip you now and show you what I'm doing. So there's my cream of mushroom soup. I'm going to add the lemon juice before I spill it. And the quarter cup of milk that we measured out. And you're going to stir all that together. I'll show you in a second why I get stirred because I can't stir and hold the phone. I ain't that talented. So, <laughs> give me a second here, stir this all together. And it says you can add salt and pepper if you want to. I don't. I let people add that when it goes on the table, but if you want to add it when you're cooking, it says now would be time to add it here with the soup and that. And I will post a recipe later in the group too. And just do this until it's smooth, and then you're going to pour this stuff that we mixed up, the soup, juice, and milk. I'm going to pour that over the fish, the almonds, and the mixed veggies are already in the pan, so... Just a second, now I'll do this and now I'll show you. And if you can't find perch, you can use any other fish fillet you have in the house. Because I know I had a hard time finding perch fillets. I had to go through stores. If I had my time back, I'll probably just will use Tadic or Halibut or whatever I could get my hands on. But so. Okay. 
show you now that I got that done. So, this is what it looks like. We got our mixed veggies on the bottom, and then we laid our fish fillets, sprinkled it with just sliced almonds. Then we mixed our lemon juice, our milk, and our cream mushroom soup, and we poured that over all of it here in the pan, as you can see. Okay. Now we're going to just give me a second here, guys. There we go. All right. Put that in our oven, which we preheated to 400. So here it goes. Oven's nice and hot. Take the pan with your veggies and fish and everything. Shove it right in the oven. And you want to cook that for 25 minutes. And that's it. That's the whole recipe. Very simple recipe. So hopefully it turns out good. Um, I will let you know later on the group if it was good or ugh. But uh, we're going to give it a shot. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that's a recipe you could want to try or not um let me know if you want me to keep filming me cooking these things if you want me to keep filming my grocery hauls where i buy the ingredients for these things or if you don't want me to um one way or the other that way i know <laughs> thanks for watching guys bye